Yep. Hi. Check, check. <laughs> so, I'm Todd. How you doing? We are back right here, man. B-Side Show. My name's Earl. Earl. I always like the in-between uh, videos and stuff because usually our DJs are always just fucking around on the decks and stuff, man. Hey, showing off. You know what I'm saying? He just, uh, For those that don't know, DJ Gemini was just scratching with his toes on his left foot. It was, was interesting. Handstands and back flips and shit. On his left foot. No, uh, all right. On his left foot, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if anybody... All right. Anyways, we got Miss Chara in the building, man. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah we've, we've been seeing you guys. We've been seeing you guys around everywhere and stuff like that. But I wanted to ask you, um, what first made you uh, fall in love with hip-hop? Like, how did it start? Because I, I almost... Can, I'm like, you know, I'm old as fuck, so I can almost <laughs> remember when hip-hop hit me but yeah. yeah tell me about that um i was probably a little bit different i was born in 95 so i'm relatively young but uh like one of the first artists was like probably like eminem definitely eminem i was more an r&b kid to be honest like i was into singing the melodies and shit but like who r&b though we could talk about that too because yeah. i like r&b oh, 90s yeah. r&b was the shit yeah like i, I love <laughs> tlc lauren oh, yeah, hill yeah. i loved beyonce to be honest christina aguilera like all that shit um I, it was a little bit later on in life, but Erica Badu, Jill Scott, like even the roots and shit, like damn, it, that shit goes deep. But um, definitely R and B melodies have always been like touch my soul. But um, eventually, like I don't know, I just got into MCing. Like I knew I could always write, but um, I definitely got into MCing. Like I want to say after, I want to say like right along like the times of like the cipher effect and stuff. I was just seeing all these people like out of my area and stuff. I got really inspired. I've always been like a writer, but I definitely got really inspired to just pick up a microphone and just spit that shit no matter what nobody thinks, you know? Because it's too easy to fall into what people think about you and and whatnot. And that's so. what I love about hip hop, man. We can just vibe out, be ourselves, yeah, and, every, and everybody is cool with it, you know. What I'm saying? Definitely. Honestly, I wasn't aware of that. Like, I didn't really see that side. I'm young. Don't like. I'm young, so don't get me wrong. Like, I didn't know low key. I didn't. I really didn't know that there was a scene cracking that people were like that. You know, that would just accept you, whatever you were trying to spit. If it was real shit, like they would just accept you and shit. Whether you're female, whether you're fucking 15. 25 like it really didn't matter so when i saw that i was like oh hell yeah <laughs> I, I want i wanted to ask you one more question off what you said you've always wrote um did it start like in school writing stories or poetry i mean what did you write before hip-hop became yeah, involved it definitely started as poetry and shit like i was a troubled child i would say my mind was very troubled so i was always looking for release and writing was always that i've always been um i've always been like uh fuck, i want to say like intrigued with words words have always like intrigued me and just like set my mind into a maze and shit so it was definitely poetry and then i started doing rhymes like when i was 10 i started writing rhymes like we got into a little rap group i'll admit but <laughs> it wasn't nothing it was nothing serious you're gonna see hey they're gonna throw like <laughs> when you when you start getting bigger they're gonna throw back some old For, videos uh, like this is her group we were like into 10. battle rap and shit like we just thought we liked eminem you know so eminem when eight mile came out we were just like oh shit let's talk shit <laughs> you know like <laughs> It was, what is it, tank top saying lotto i don't think you, oh all right i was gonna Real go shit. into eight mile right now hey, <laughs> hey hey um besides uh you know doing the show with uh with concept wake the flock up and and um you know doing your artistry as well is there anything else i wanted to ask you that um you kind of have your hands in too um besides that what else are you uh, right now, honestly, I'm just working on my project, trying to non-stop. You know, life gets in the way sometimes. Work oh, nine to five and shit. Woo! We you all just know said about something that. that. Hit me right. Now. Yeah, I yeah, am already. We all know. know about that. That nine to five really kicks in, and just life in general kicks in. But I've just been trying to steady work on a project and with the team. I just recently uh, ran into like a music collective and a skate collective called Forever Dedicated. So definitely be on the lookout for that. We got mad shows every weekend. You know, we're trying to just spread the love and spread the positivity and spread the hip hop. You know anything we can it's all about evolution we gotta evolve as people as spirits as hip-hop in general you know spreading the gospel yeah <laughs> hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah hey speaking of that man uh yeah oh shouts to born Allah, man the homie man that's the homie right there do you see some of his posts uh, oh man that's the anyways i don't mean to go <laughs> off track man miss shar uh -huh. um let them know where they could check your music out and and also one more time the show so they could you know hear you yeah, hear yeah. your voice definitely it's um miss shar music on soundcloud facebook instagram twitter and then forever dedicated instagram facebook all that shit uh wake the flock up.net crappy Gossam. 
B-side. We fucking, we support it all. We're all just trying to evolve together, form a platform for everyone who needs it, trying to express themselves. So check me out. I'll check you out. It's all love. Forever dedicated. Miss Shar, B-side. That's right, man. She's, man, you're like, you're professional. Shit. All right, <laughs> yeah. Concept, you should give her a raise, bro. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. Where's my raise at? My yeah, no shit. Sure. You better kick that paycheck up a notch. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> are you, you going to rock something for us too here? Or what? what yeah, that? yeah, definitely. Got nice. a track. I got a track for you guys, definitely. Okay. Well, Ooh. we're going to get into it. We're going to play a video. We'll be right back. We got DJ Gemini in the mix and Miss Sharp yeah. coming up next. Smoothies Gemini. Gemini. 